Are you struggling with feeling stuck in your life journey? Does it seem as if the challenges or conflicts that you keep experiencing are on repeat? Healing through feeling could be your new way through to a more satisfying life. Now, here is the host of the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show, licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Feel to Heal show today with myself, Sharon Nichols, on the Incredible Inspired Choices Network. And today's topic is, can you still keep a sense of yourself? Can you still be me, even though you're part of a we? And that was my cat saying hello. For those of you watching, I'm... So excited to be here today. It has been such an interesting week and time and energy. And I, I love that I, that these topics just come to me and there is no necessary rhyme or reason. I just allow the universe to just unfold itself to me. And so I am just a conduit with which these, these ideas, these thoughts, um, these pieces for conversation just come out through me. So where to begin today? So as usual, let's start with our meditation. And I got this meditation from the Women's Meditation Network. And I I changed it up so it's not just only focused on women. Um, It includes all people. And because we all could always, and I'm, yes, I'm using the all and the always use some meditation. It's always helpful to just take a breath. And just take a moment to center yourself because you know that that's clearly what I need today. Um, And so grateful that this is how I start each and every show. So let's all receive a breath and allow our eyes to close. And let love wash all over you. Imagine this green, sparkly, bluish, purplish, yellowish, orangish, greenish light. All this white light just shining down upon you. Notice that you are an amazing person of light. Just the way you are right now. You do not need to be anything more or do anything more to be worthy of your love. You simply must receive the love you deserve from yourself. So today's intention is of self-love. Shower yourself with love, without conditions, without limits, and with an immense amount of grace and tenderness. So let yourself settle. Into and inviting your body to relax into a comfortable position. (sighs) Keep breathing. Let yourself turn inward. Hearing the soft songs of your breathing. In through your nose, out through your nose. Breathing in and out. 
feeling the rise and fall of your chest as you inhale and exhale. Relaxing into this self-love moment. Noticing your body releasing any tension it may feel in your shoulders, your jaw, your arms, your chest, your legs, your hands, your feet, And feel yourself settle deeper into comfort, deeper into relaxation as you settle into self love, self love. Now imagine that you are standing in a patch of soft green grass. You are alone, safe, smelling the fragrant flowers, the fresh scent, and the earth all around you. You feel the sun in the warm sky, warming your skin. You stand here naked in this safe space, feeling the air as it dances with your skin. Take a deep breath, letting the fresh air fill your chest and expand your belly. And as you exhale, let yourself relax a little deeper into love. Notice the clouds slowly roll in and feel little droplets of rain starting to hit your skin. The raindrops are just a little cool and so refreshing. Let your head fall back facing the sun. Your arms stretched out to the side, sinking deeper into self-love and open to receive the rain. And as you feel the raindrops on your body, let yourself receive the words you hear from inside of you and let them shower you with love, just like the raindrops. I love you. You are extraordinary. I love your body. I love your laugh. And I love your tears. I love your ambition and your desire for ease. I love your ideas and your kind heart. I love your mistakes and all the dark parts, all of your dark parts. I love everything about you. I love everything about you. 
And even though you are constantly evolving, shedding old habits, attitudes, or characteristics that no longer serve you, and even though you are always a work in progress, I love you just the way you are. I love you. Here you are, beautiful, naked, beautifully imperfect, and covered in the raindrops of love from yourself. You are worthy of every word, every drop. I love you just the way you are. Receiving a breath. And when you are ready, allowing your eyes to open. I love you. You are beautiful. Just the way you are. Thank you so much for listening, for being a part. For showing up, for loving yourself, for just being you. So much of me goes into each and every show with regards to the build up and the actual setting in and the being present. <sighs> There's so many different distractions that could take me off course. And so just bringing it back and anchoring it and centering it is the most important thing that I truly get, no matter how I'm feeling, at one minute before the hour is so irrelevant to me being present once my producer hits the recording button. So I chose this topic today because as women, and then I'm going to say as humans, we can lose ourselves in a relationship so easily because it's so easy for us to not think about ourselves and put everybody else before us to be the ultimate martyr, to be the ultimate codependent, because that's what we think we need in order to love ourselves. We need someone else to love us for the validation. So we're gonna take a little break right now. And when we come back, I'm gonna dive deeper Dive deeper, dive deeper into, into love, diving deeper into why we are who we are in the moments that we choose to be someone else other than the me in the we. Thank you so much for tuning in to the first segment. See you back here in a moment. At different times on our life journey, we can feel stuck and struggle with seeing our way through. What if the answer to the struggle is just to go deeper than the surface? By tuning in to Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show, with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols, you'll receive insight and guidance on exploring your feelings in order to heal yourself. Are you ready to create a more satisfying, peaceful, and successful life? 
Listen for the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Healing through feeling is possible. What if you could start living life as you were meant to before all the conditioning and trauma covered up your beautiful soul? What if your relationships could deepen through a more authentic connection to your feelings and others? A more satisfying, successful, and peaceful life is obtainable when you work with Sharon Nichols, marriage and family therapist and life guide. Connect through her website, feeltoheal.com, or her email, Nichols at feeltoheal.com to learn more about the Feel to Heal process. Isn't it time for you to start healing? This is Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also ask questions or comments by email by sending to Sharon Nichols at feeltoheal.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Feel to Heal program with myself, Sharon Nichols, as the host on the Inspired Choices Network. And today's topic is how to still be a me when you are a we. And I just love the play on words. And please, contact me, find me, join me. I'm on the book of the face, the Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I have a website that I am redoing and making even more user-friendly. And please email me. I welcome comments, good, bad, ugly. I want to know. I want to hear from you. I would love some input, some topics, anything that you'd even like to hear from me about because you've been listening. So I welcome it all. I welcome the good and the bad and the ugly because I am all of those things. I am all. I am it all, the whole spectrum. And that is the part of being yourself. So getting into the topic. I feel as though I need to talk about codependency first, because that is usually the biggest place, the biggest thing and the biggest place that we go to as people, as women. And the most fascinating thing that I found about codependency is that it actually came from a coin, a, a term that was originally used in Alcoholics Anonymous. And it is not. It is not a clinical diagnosis or a personality disorder, although we just talk about it as though it is it is that that there is that you that there is something wrong with you. And I'm putting that in air quotes. Be if you are codependent, and there isn't anything clinically wrong with you if you're codependent. It's truly about you finding yourself and finding the love within yourself. As I mentioned just before the break. You, it's not about losing yourself. It's about you loving yourself first before anyone else can love you. It's not about you looking outside of yourself for love. It's about you already knowing who you are, anchoring in that truth, the truth that you are a loving human being. You are deserving of all all the love that you give, you are deserving of it back. No matter what you were told, no matter what you thought, no matter any of the experiences that you had as a child, as a young adult, and even as an adult in any of your relationships. I've been really angry this week. And I don't really know why. I don't know where this anger has been coming from because I truly do. At this point in my life, I love myself and I love being in a relationship. I love my partner and I truly believe that my partner loves me. 
Do we like everything about each other? No. And I'm okay with that because there's a difference between like and love. And it's that self-love. It's that self-care. It's about putting your oxygen mask on first and then taking care of everybody else around you. Although I will speak now as a woman, we've been so conditioned to take care of everybody else before we take care of ourselves. And so it's not about, I am woman, hear me roar. I'm going to put myself first before anybody else. No, because that also puts up a wall. And it's not about putting up a wall. It's about the balance. It's about acknowledging that you do have these feelings every so often where it is about giving and taking. It is about um, sometimes you do have to put others first. That doesn't make you codependent. That just makes you aware that also and it's okay. It's about, again, finding the balance. I feel like I, I speak, I repeat myself so often over and over again. So I'm going to bring it back to codependency. Because the good news is, is that there's something that you can do about it. And so you have to understand what it looks like for you you have to understand does your happiness depend on someone else's or can you just be happy with yourself and where is it, where are you along that spectrum where are you It's about truly being honest with yourself. Because I know for myself in the past, I've allowed myself, and yes, I'm using that word. I've allowed myself to be codependent so, and focus on someone else and blame them and wrong them for my choice so I wouldn't actually have to look at myself. I have actually taken on feeling responsible for other people's actions which doesn't serve me. So it is truly about serving you and what do you need and putting on your oxygen mask first and knowing that again, you are an eternal being of love and light. And that's why we are here. We are here to love, not to hate. And, and, and maybe that's where my anger is. Because I just want to love. And I just want to be loved. Not from a Pollyanna-ish place where I know that there, real, that there is true evil and there is true hatred. And yes, as a therapist, I've seen it. And yes, it can be scary. Although no one is born to hate, no one. We are all moldable balls of clay. We're just incredible, incredible light beings that get darkened as, as our psyche gets hit upon, as we are told things as children, that we are not enough, that we don't know anything, that our thoughts and feelings just don't matter, that everyone else's does before us. And it's being codependent has also been, I am assuming, a survival mechanism for so many people. That's why it came out of from my opinion, Alcoholics Anonymous, which was a which was formed as a group for people who wanted to overcome being dependent on alcohol, on choosing a substance with which to um, avoid feeling 
and avoid showing up and just just more excuses, excuses upon excuses upon excuses to not be the love and the light that you that is your God given birthright as a human being. It is truly about you being in control of your own life. And with that comes 100% control over no control. I have three children, as I know I've mentioned before, and two stepchildren. So I have five humans in somewhat of my charge, meaning that they look for me for guidance. They look to me for examples. And this is the part of me not losing me in the, in the, in the we, because it's not just about me being in a relationship with my partner. It's also about me being a child and then me being a mother. And And my children, how they choose to show up in the world and the choices that they make have have little bearing on me. I for sure have guided them and and told them and absolutely share my opinion because they ask for my opinion. Although they have every right and I am using these these con- this construct of they have every right to choose for themselves and make decisions for themselves regardless of what I think they should do. This shoulding, and I know I've talked about this before, this shoulding that, that we do on ourselves, that we do on each other, that we do on our children. And then that our parents do on us. It's everywhere. Judgment, judgment, judgment. I mean, that's all, all that we're hearing. And, and, and that's some of where my anger is coming from. Wow. Thank you for listening and letting me sort this all out for myself. Um, you know, being told that I have no control over my body, my choices. I know that's where the anger is. That's where it's coming from. It's because we, we, we all want control and yet we're scared of it all at the same time. We want to be told and then not be told. It's about finding that space for ourselves. And what is our truth? And there are some people that need to be told what to do in order to survive. Yes, there are those moments for sure. There have absolutely been moments where I just cannot think for myself. And I've just been told, please just tell me what to do. I promise I will not wrong you for this decision that I'm making because I just have no clue. I have completely lost my way. So please help me get myself back on track. That's not being codependent. That's me being truthful and honest and authentic with myself and knowing the truth of who I am and that in the moment, in the present moment, I am lost. So please help me find myself, find myself back to me. I'm just going to take a breath on that. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols on the Inspired Choices Network. And please reach out to me at Sharon Nichols at feeltoheal.com or my website, Sharon, or just my website, feeltoheal.com. Thank you. 
for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you back here right after the break. At different times on our life journey, we can feel stuck and struggle with seeing our way through. What if the answer to the struggle is just to go deeper than the surface? By tuning in to Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show, with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols, you'll receive insight and guidance on exploring your feelings in order to heal yourself. Are you ready to create a more satisfying, peaceful, and successful life? Listen for the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Healing through feeling is possible. What if you could start living life as you were meant to, before all the conditioning and trauma covered up your beautiful soul? What if your relationships could deepen through a more authentic connection to your feelings and others? A more satisfying, successful, and peaceful life is obtainable when you work with Sharon Nichols, marriage and family therapist and life guide. Connect through her website, feeltoheal.com, or her email, Nichols at feeltoheal.com, to learn more about the Feel to Heal process. Isn't it time for you to start healing? This is Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also ask questions or comments by email by sending to Sharon Nichols at feeltoheal.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Field to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols, licensed marriage, family, and therapist, and life guide. And today's topic is how to still be a me while also being a we. And so I'm going to bring it back around to what does losing yourself in a relationship actually mean? So losing yourself in a relationship actually means that your attention is so focused on the relationship that you don't know who you are anymore. Now, I know I've spoken a lot about that, so I'm not going to spend more time on it because it is truly not about blaming ourselves because that's what we do. We tend to blame ourselves because we are slowly giving up our choice, our freedom, our sense of self. And as I mentioned before, sometimes it's just easier to do that. It's sometimes so much easier to just check out. So let's talk about some of the things that you can do to avoid losing yourself in your, in your relationship. I've said it multiple times. Self-care, prioritizing yourself, putting yourself first. It's putting the me before the we, because you can't have a we without the me. You need to be you if you want it to be healthy, which, uh, again, I'm now making an assumption that you do. (laughs) So please correct me if I'm wrong. I say that a lot, that I'm making the assumption Because ultimately, I truly do believe that we all just want to be in healthy relationships. And so for that, what that looks like is most of the time, a large percentage of it, things are just humming along and things are just nice and easy and simple. 
And then every so often there's that snag because you have that thought or that feeling about you loving yourself and that you are not worthy. So again, it's not about it's not about you um, waiting for the other person to validate you. It's you validating you first. I guess I can't stress that enough. Because to me, that's, the, that's one of the biggest antidotes to, to codependency. It's, it's the one thing that, that every relationship needs in order for it to be healthy is you need to love yourself first. You have to put on your own oxygen mask and maybe you have to put on your own love mask. You know what? I'm going to start saying that. You have to put on your own love mask before you can love anyone else. I know it's you think it's easier. Um, I apologize. I'm assuming that you think it's easier to love someone else before loving yourself. Although that just fucks you up. That just screws with you and and does not allow for you to be you and for you to shine your light. It just dims your light. You first. And not from an egoic, narcissistic place. That's not at all what I am saying. And for those of you who've been listening long enough, no, that's not what I'm saying. Because it's about self-care, not about egotistical being. I know I'm making things up. Let's talk about compromise. Because it's not about you compromising too much of yourself at all. It is truly about you establishing proper boundaries for yourself. Because in all in all compromising, it's about co-creating. It's about co-creating your relationship together which is really, which is is what I truly believe is the most, one of the most important things to being able to be the we. It's about co-creating what it is that you want. It's about the give and the take equally most of the time. Although there will be moments where where your partner or your child or your parent or your friend is going to need you more than perhaps you need them in that moment. And that's okay. That doesn't mean that you're codependent. It's about you consciously choosing them over you in the moment. That is the most important thing in order for you to stay you. So it is about the ebb and the flow and the waxing and the waning and the bending it is about that it's important that you can move within your relationship about bending and not breaking thank you that's what was not coming to me It's about bending and not breaking. It's about allowing. It's about giving. I know I've mentioned the the cup being full and the spillover into the saucer and it's about giving from the saucer. So it's about keeping yourself, keeping the saucer full for yourself and then the spillover is what you share and what you give. And that is not codependency. That's you taking care of you and then giving of yourself because you still can give of yourself and not be dependent on someone else.
So it's also really important that you keep seeing your friends and your family. So it's about not isolating yourself. It's truly not about not losing yourself in just one relationship. It's about being as well-rounded as you possibly can be for yourself, within yourself. It's okay to have an interest and do something without your partner, just for you. It's okay that that they don't like to do everything that you like to do. Don't stop doing some of the things that you like. Take some time for yourself and then share about it. And then also give them the opportunity to do something. And doing nothing is also doing something. I wanna stress that too. Even if you do nothing by yourself, for yourself, you're still doing something. You know, we don't, we, we're always on the go, 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 go. 70% of us are generators and we are on the go, 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 go. So doing nothing is also still doing something. I know I've said that before and I'm gonna, that is definitely something that I live by and I'm all for, for all. It is what truly helps me add to my cup. See, it's what allows me to add to my cup as I hold my head. Because this is my cup, filling my cup. As usual, setting keeping and maintaining healthy boundaries. Huh. I love that. What the fuck is a healthy boundary? (laughs) A healthy boundary is one that you communicate without falling all over yourself. A healthy boundary is you saying no when you really don't want to do something and saying yes when you really want to do something. And then somewhere in between. It's okay for you to say no, as long as you're not withholding. That's part of the health, that's the healthy part. It's okay to say, you know what? I'm really not interested in doing that. And I still love you. And I still want to be with you. Although right now, That's not actually going to fill my cup or I don't have any reserve from my saucer to give to be a part of whatever it is that's being asked of you. So of course, also setting a healthy boundary can also give you a sense of feeling stronger and more confident and empowered within yourself, which is ultimately going to lead you to self-love. Huh, isn't that just fascinating? Ultimately, this is what we want. This is what we need. This is what actually is going to be the me so I can be the we. And so we're going to take a break in, the, in another moment. And thank you so much for tuning in to the Field to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols. And we're talking about how not to lose yourself in any relationship. I look forward to seeing you back here in a moment. At different times on our life journey, we can feel stuck and struggle with seeing our way through. What if the answer to the struggle is just to go deeper than the surface? By tuning in to Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols, you'll receive insight and guidance on exploring your feelings in order to heal yourself. Are you ready to create a more satisfying, peaceful, and successful life? Listen for the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 
5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Healing through feeling is possible. What if you could start living life as you were meant to before all the conditioning and trauma covered up your beautiful soul? What if your relationships could deepen through a more authentic connection to your feelings and others? A more satisfying, successful, and peaceful life is obtainable when you work with Sharon Nichols, marriage and family therapist and life guide. Connect through her website, feeltoheal.com, or her email, SharonNichols at feeltoheal.com, to learn more about the Feel to Heal process. Isn't it time for you to start healing? This is Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also ask questions or comments by email by sending to Sharon Nichols at feeltoheal.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, and thank you so much to, to, for tuning in to the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols, licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide. Today's topic that I've been talking about is how to be a me and still be a we. And what it truly comes down to is communication. Always, 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 always communication. And it's truly about being open and honest with yourself first. So it's truly about letting go of any fear that you have about telling your partner how you feel. So if you think that you're losing yourself in a relationship or in your relationship, maybe it's time for you to bring that up in the conversation with your partner. Because I'm assuming that your partner also is feeling it too. And they could actually even be getting to feel as though they're being strangled. You know, that there's no space for them to be me as part of the we. So stay true to yourself. Be authentic with you. It's okay. It's okay to be honest. It's okay to be truthful, even though sometimes that truth may, may be disheartening. I don't want to say hurtful or spiteful because I don't want to be, I, I'm assuming that's not where it's coming from. It's you being authentic with you. So Jean-Paul Sartre, in, when I was, of course, looking up all, you know, all these different articles and people's thoughts and feelings about how to be a me and also be a we or how to be a we and also be a me and it doesn't even matter how to just be you. So John Paul Sartre, he is a philosopher and his belief is that we are free to define ourselves, to decide who we are going to be rather than having to be anyone that they want us to be. It's truly just about being our own authentic selves. So if we only think of ourselves as something predetermined that exists prior to our actions and thoughts, then we can't even think about finding ourselves. It's truly about being present. It's about being in the present moment. It's not about bringing the past into the future, being in the present or worrying about the future. It's just being in the here and the now. And we get so caught up in where's, where's the relationship going? What is actually going on? And what I have found is in looking back 
is that each and every moment has built upon itself. And each and every moment I have been present. And that's really all that matters. Because it doesn't matter what happened yesterday, truly in my relationship. And it doesn't even really matter what's going to happen tomorrow. Because the fact is that I am in a committed monogamous relationship. And that's really all that matters. And in this present moment, I am. And in this present moment, I am. And in order for me to still be me, I get to be away. I get to integrate myself truthfully, honestly, authentically. I get to show up as me. I get to be an advocate for myself. Because I get to say that I am enough and I do not need to pretend and that there is nothing for me to fear and that I am okay who I am the way that I am. I am just an incredible light being full of love. Even the shadow side of me, even the ugly, even the the, the dark side. I love all parts of me. And I get to love all parts of my partner, my children, my parents, my friends, my relatives, everyone who I love. I get to love all parts of them. That's my choice. And then they get to choose whether they're going to choose all parts, choose to love all parts of me. And that's on them. And there isn't anything that I need to do to get them to do that. I continue to show up authentically, openly, honestly as love. I love me. I love all the parts of me. And I'm continuing to evolve and grow and be much like I said in the meditation. And I am accepting all of these aspects and parts of me. Even my sadness, my anger, my frustration, my longing, my wanting, my wishing. And that's okay. I get to show up as me all the time, always. And so do you. So thank you so much for listening to today's show on how to still be you and not lose yourself in any way, shape, or form. And next week's show, we're going to be talking about trauma and how to relieve yourself of it or allow it to just be a part of who you are. Because I have a funny feeling that's where it's going to go. So thank you so much for tuning in to today's show and allowing me to just be a part of your day. I can't thank you enough. And so you might as well be you because everyone else is taken. And love yourself first and foremost. And then allow everyone else to love you too. Take care. See you back here next week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for choosing to listen to the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show. Sharon Nichols will return next Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, give up the struggle, feel all you need to feel, and make this week your best one yet.
Thank you for choosing to listen to the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show. Sharon Nichols will return next Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspireChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, give up the struggle, feel all you need to feel, and make this week your best one yet.